Oh, what happened, babe? If you ever were scammed or ever thought how can you scam people for money, this video is for you. Whichever is your preference, either by scamming people or how not to get scammed, there's a lesson here. This video has been going viral all over. So we get this woman driving and the only difference from her to everyone else is that her car has two dash cameras, one in the front and one in the back. And this will be the difference in her day today. Let's take a look. But it's crazy. Like he had one hand on the. What the? Oh my god! What, what happened, babe? The... Oh the other thing is they immediately coming out with that frowned face, already pulling up their cell phones, filming the license plate. Reverse into you? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh fuck! I'm oh shaking. Babe, babe, babe. Yeah. Just. Stay there. Oh my god. Fuck, oh my god. Where on the Brown Parkway? Oh, uh, holy shit. You know, after that turn? Yeah. Fuck. Oh my Babe, god. It's okay. Just, right, hold on, hold on. Just... Hold on, okay? But wait. There's more. So they also came with another vehicle from behind to control the situation from behind for other passing cars. Oh my god. What, what happened, babe? Oh my god, what is he doing? So clearly, this was planned and not their first rodeo. As they got closer to her car and as the dude checked her dash cam, they left. Are the cops going to do anything? Unless they start hearing from people rambling on the internet. Hold on, babe. Oh, fuck. What's funny about this is thinking about this from their perspective. Right, so Robert, Mary, Susan, you know what to do tomorrow. We meet at the coffee shop. Head on to the driveway at 10 o'clock. I'll take Mary and Susan and Robert. Since you take the second car, as soon as Mary texts you, turn on the blinkers as we are doing this on the mark. All right? If you aren't ready, all right, let's make some money. As an insurance agent, I get my fair share of people that want to scam the insurance companies. I get that all day long. People pay the premium on their pops, wait for him to die, then to collect the check. Or lie on the underwriting process to get a lower premium. But wait, there's more. Insurers, when it comes to the medical, they're already very suspicious. They are scammers too. They want to collect the money from you and not pay. And clients, if they have to pay insurance, they will lie their asses off as much as possible to pay the minimum possible. Everyone's a scammer. It's just specifically in this instance, it didn't seem to pay out for these idiots. Anyway, let me know your comments down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.